high-tech drones will soon become a regular feature on the Royal Navy aircraft carriers. The war between Russia and Ukraine has certainly focused attention on the important role robotic systems such as military drones can play in major conflicts. Among the advantages provided by drones, the fact that they are relatively cheap, can be mass-produced, and can be deployed in short order against much more complex and expensive traditional military weapon systems as well as against vulnerable military and civilian infrastructure, stand out. Stealth combat drones will soon become a regular feature on the Royal Navy aircraft carriers. The Ministry of Defense has taken the next step to secure more autonomous systems for HMS Prince of Wales and HMS Queen Elizabeth. A prior information notice has been published by Defense Equipment and Support, setting out a two-year deal worth up to £20 million. The contract is linked to the Autonomous Collaborative Platform Program, which aims to bring in drones and other uncrewed systems for the Royal Air Force. A statement on the Ministry of Defense website said, This bold strategy recognizes a new way of doing things, our partnerships, and the innovation we are seeking to harness will provide us with a force multiplier. The approach will augment and enhance our existing capability and provide us with the opportunity and means to learn, develop and fight faster than our adversaries. Businesses are asked to sign up for the second tranche of the program. A tranche is a portion of something, with this second batch of drones contributing to the whole amount being procured by the government. The notice for the second tranche said the systems must be designed to operate in collaboration with the fourth dash, fifth and future generations of combat aircraft and to operate from the UK aircraft carriers. Coverage in the UK Defence Journal described this as marking a significant ambition to extend uncrewed combat capabilities into the maritime domain, particularly from the Queen Elizabeth-class carriers. The Strategic Defence Review set out plans to implement various drones and autonomous systems on HMS Prince of Wales and HMS Queen Elizabeth. Malloy T-150s are currently being used for transporting goods between ships on the UK Carrier Strike Group as it continues Operation Highmast. For the Royal Air Force, Protector and Storm Shroud are entering operational service this year. For the Royal Navy, the concept of hybrid carrier air wings continues to develop to greatly enhance the striking power of our carriers. The UK Ministry of Defence published its much-anticipated Strategic Defence Review on June 2, 2025. With high-intensity conflict having returned to Europe since the publication of the Integrated Defense Review in 2021 following Russia's February 2022 invasion of Ukraine, the SDR consequently set out wide-ranging new measures and initiatives to adapt to the new military geopolitical paradigm in Europe and, indeed, the rest of the world. The Royal Air Force, states the review, offers the integrated force's quickest means of striking targets, with the flexibility, speed, and reach to deliver effect globally. It adds, however, that the Royal Air Force's lean size reflects the requirements of a post-Cold War era, centered on counter-terrorism, counter-insurgency, and air policing, whereas, with the return of high-intensity conflict to Europe, the Royal Air Force must improve its productivity, agility, and adaptability to build greater readiness and resilience. The United Kingdom has formally launched its effort to field an unmanned loyal wingman adjunct to its manned combat aircraft, with a request for information posted by the Ministry of Defense on July 29. With its Autonomous Collaborative Platform Tranche 2 Preliminary Market Engagement Notice, the Ministry of Defense seeks to capture information and insights into the current and future Autonomous Collaborative Platform industrial landscape for a specific set of systems. In June, the Ministry of Defense published the Strategic Defense Review, which recommended the Royal Air Force must stay at the leading edge of combat air's evolution, through the transition from exclusively crewed combat air platforms to a future combat air system with a mix of crewed, uncrewed, and increasingly autonomous platforms and that to assure the future of UK combat air, investment in autonomous collaborative platforms should be considered alongside investment in future combat air system and the Global Combat Air Program. The autonomous collaborative platform must be designed to operate in collaboration with the fourth, fifth, and future generations of combat aircraft and to operate from the UK aircraft carriers. According to the notification, the Ministry of Defence is looking to understand four specific system capabilities for autonomous collaborative platform, the official nomenclature for loyal wingmen in UK defence jargon known as collaborative combat aircraft in the US. 
These comprise electromagnetic electronic warfare payloads and effects, stealth air vehicles, one-way attack air vehicles, and autonomous air vehicles. The war between Russia and Ukraine has certainly focused attention on the important role robotic systems such as military drones can play in major conflicts. Among the advantages provided by drones, the fact that they are relatively cheap, can be mass-produced, and can be deployed in short order against much more complex and expensive traditional military weapon systems as well as against vulnerable military and civilian infrastructure, stand out. While the debate concerning whether drones are revolutionary game-changers or simply evolutionary enhancements to conventional weapons rages on in the commentariat, there is no denying that state and non-state actors are taking drones very seriously. However, there is at the same time a danger that drones will succumb to scope creep in many forms, much like many traditional weapon systems have experienced in the past. And, to the extent that they do, some of the touted advantages of drones may be eroded as these systems become far more complex and sophisticated and are asked to do more with the result that they risk becoming much more expensive than they are at present. One does not have to look far for evidence of this trend. Governments near and far are now seeking longer range, more speed, bigger payloads, and stealth for a broader range of operational missions from their drones. The question for the future is, will the growing demand for more from drones eventually erode the very characteristics that have made them so appealing to date? A statement on the Ministry of Defense website said, high-tech drones will soon become a regular feature on the Royal Navy aircraft carriers. The Ministry of Defense has taken the next step to secure more autonomous systems for HMS Prince of Wales and HMS Queen Elizabeth. A prior information notice has been published by Defense Equipment and Support, setting out a two-year deal worth up to £20 million.